In this video, how to deploy fonts using Microsoft Intune. Before you begin, Intune support the True Type Font TTF and Open Tie Font Off only. For example, I will deploy the Google Roboto fonts. These are files we need for font deployment in Intune. The next step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add the app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the .IntuneWin format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file. We just need the prep tool, so let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file IntuneWinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Now, copy all font files in the extracted folder to the input folder that we've created in the previous steps. In the input folder, create the install and uninstall PowerShell scripts for the app deployment. The scripts can be found in this video description. Let's take a look about script. This part of the script will get the list of all font files to a variable. Copy them to the Windows font folder. Then update the font names in the registry. Navigate to the file menu to save the script, and don't forget to save it with the .ps1 file extension. For example, I will save it as install.ps1. And now is the uninstall PowerShell script. The script will remove the font files and registry values. Save it as a PowerShell script with the .ps1 file extension. For example, I will save it as uninstall.ps1. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .intunewin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Now, open the Intune Win app util. This will open a new window. First, you need to enter the path of the input folder as the source folder. and the full path of any file in the input folder. For instance, I will use the path of the install script. And the path of the output folder for generated Intune Win file. Press Enter to continue. The tool will create an Intune package then close automatically. 
You can go to the output folder to verify the package has been created. Finally, log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a new Windows app deployment. From the drop down menu, select the app type as Windows App Win32. For the app package file, select the output in tune file that you created. In the app information page, Specify the information as required such as name of the Intune app, a description for the app, and name of the publisher. Optionally, you can upload a logo for the app by selecting an image file. This logo is displayed with the app when users browse through the company portal. We recommend specifying the logo here because it makes easy for users to identify the applications via the logo. In the program page, we need to enter the install and uninstall commands for the app. On the requirements page, you can specify prerequisites that the managed devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the device architecture, minimum OS version, disk space, and more. Detection rules allow you to check if the app is already installed on the managed devices. You can either use a custom detection script or a manually configure detection rule. In this video, we'll use manually configure detection rule type. Select file as the rule type to verify based on file or folder detection. Enter the part of any font file you are trying to install using Intune. For the detection method, select file or folder exist. In this page, you can define software dependencies and specify apps that must be installed before the app can be deployed. Additionally, you can configure supersedence to directly update or replace an older version of the app. On the assignments page, decide how to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on specified groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will appear in the company portal, allowing users to install it. Use the uninstall deployment option to remove the app from managed devices. You can select Add All Devices to deploy the app to all managed devices, but it's recommended to test the deployment on a small group of devices before deploying it organization-wide. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end-user notifications, and app installation deadline. Review your settings and click Create. If you see the message, your app is not ready yet, wait for the content upload to finish. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is complete and the deployment is active. To verify the font deployment, log in into a managed device and allow time for the system to sync. You can manually trigger a sync from the Windows settings, the company portal, or by restarting the computer. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the fonts. And the fonts has been successfully installed automatically. In the Intune portal, you can monitor the deployment status on the overview page, 
where you'll see a graphical breakdown such as devices with successful installations, devices still installing, and any errors encountered. Please note that the deployment status may take some time to appear in the Intune Admin Center. Please be patient. If the app is no longer needed, you can modify its deployment settings in Intune to uninstall it automatically. Go to the Properties section and edit the assignments. Remove the group from the required section and add it to the Uninstall section. Wait for the sync to complete and the app will automatically be removed from target devices. Alternatively, when deploying an app using Intune, you can set it as available for enrolled devices. This allows users to manually install the app via the company portal. For such scenarios, users can log into the company portal and install the app themselves. As you can see, the app will not be installed automatically. Instead, users can decide when they want to install the app manually from the company portal. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next videos.